Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the MLG Spring Arena number two on the Gameplay One stream. It's our pleasure to bring you the next matchup, which will be Complexity's Gunzi versus his former teammate, Slayer's Alicia. And I'm joined by the one and only Mr. Rob Simpson. Oh, well, thank you so much, Total Biscuit. I'm actually really looking forward to both this game and getting to work with you. Should be fun, man. It's looking uh, pretty good. Both of these guys doing... Fairly well in this tournament thus far. Alicia taking out Oz in good fashion, 2-0. Right. Which was actually massive. I mean, fortunately for Alicia, I get most unfortunately for Oz. Like, that's by far, I think, that everybody's agreed his weakest matchup at this point. But now, Alicia will truly be tested. Indeed. Against a former teammate, now Complexity. Used to be, of course, Slayers. It is the one and only Ganji. He is in the Red Trunks and he is playing Terran to the southwest of Taldorim Alta versus his opponent. It is the one and only Slayers Alicia. He is in the Blue Trunks playing Protoss mm -hmm. to the southeast. Yeah, so here on, on Taldorim Alta, it should be relatively interesting. Their spawn positions are going to make it a, a little strange for Gonzi. Uh, his fourth base is either going to be really, really far by ground or extremely close to Alicia. But actually, we'll see if it even makes it that far. It very it, well might not. Right. <laughs> it really won't. And we'll, we'll see how it goes. I mean, this can generally be a fairly passive map, but due to the positions, as you can see, we're going to be having... Both players expanding initially mm -hmm. towards each other. We all know about that horrible position that you can be in on the expansion. If you were to have a look at, say, Alicia's view there, that's his expansion. His natural is towards his opponent. This yep. is just prime siege territory. And we're seeing tanks a lot more in this matchup now. Very much. Yeah, and those, I mean, siege is one of those things that just continues to pay for itself over and over throughout oh, yeah. the duration of a match and you don't even really need to do that much damage to have it be worth it you just need to put your opponent in an awkward position if you kill anything that's a bonus but chances are they have to make something to kill it that they didn't want to yeah, and I, I don't know, man. I, I find Siege Tanks to be one of the dullest units in the entire <laughs> game. It, it's nice to see them fire, but <laughs> they just sit there looking smug, and well, I don't like, like their attitude. It's a space control unit, right? Where they yeah. can do, they're just kind of pompous and get to do whatever they want. They yeah, can just speaking sit there of doing whatever you want, let's them. go 14cc, <laughs> says Complexity Ganji, and... Indeed, why not? It is Taldor and Malta, after all. It doesn't know where his opponent is. And, you know, it, it's always a gamble if you're going to go 14 CC, but at least this is one of the maps where you can get away with it more so than anything else. On the other hand, Alicia does go for a much safer gate first build instead of going Nexus first here. Mm -hmm. Let's see how, what kind of pressure he has. He has only taken one gas, hasn't taken the second yet. Seeing an awful lot of taking two gas Protoss very early on, like yeah, 16 supply, but then only putting two probes in each because they want mm -hmm. the four gas they want right. the, the slightly earlier tech options and the option of pumping out a couple of extra sentries if they need it for that defense and in the meantime we've got the double barracks to follow up the cc first unbelievably standard as standard as standard could be when you're doing 14 cc you need to get your army count up and over here we're starting to see alicia get out to check his expansion not seeing that oh so dreaded engineering bay oh what a pain now. in the ass that is mm -hmm. oh i mean literally like it, it costs the Terran player almost nothing, and it takes yeah. you forever to kill. I mean, it's, what, 30 minerals, something yeah. like that? 31 minerals is what it costs the Terran player to delay your expansion for as long as you want. But fortunately enough, in Alicia's case, he's not going to have to deal with that. He's adding on three more gateways now, and also already has warp gate just about halfway done. And he's well, starting well, to pump well. that out. Yeah. yeah, straight up four gate play mm -hmm. on one gas. This is classic right here. This, it's Taldorim, and you do see this an awful lot on this map. And it's mostly because of this area right yeah. here. It's astonishingly easy to place a pylon somewhere around this area and very hard to find. And that's going to be a pain for Ganji here. Really, because he went CC first, he has a very low army count, he has very low map awareness, he doesn't even know the position of his opponent yet, he's only guessing. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about that, like, you really on this map, on Taldor and Malta, there's so many places to hide something like that yeah. in plain sight. Certainly. Right, where you're just thinking that, oh, okay, I actually, I already scouted that, but there's the, the one spot directly above the natural where you'll just never actually click on. There's also any of the spots down at that third base. And he's now starting that aggression right now. Now, where's yeah. that pro? Where is he placed? There, and the there's first the backup pylon. pylon. Uh, the yes. second one will go here. Mm -hmm. And Ganji 
it de the problem is he can't react to this because he's got to hold his front here as well. There's a couple of stalkers poking at it, so that pylon isn't going to die before it goes up. If he gets that high ground, which is what he's looking for right now, if he gets that visibility for the warp, a great surround Ooh. here from Ganji to stop that from happening. Oh man, and actually he still has a significant window of opportunity there. There Going he is, eliminating that the, uh, the SCV wall right there, getting just in, getting that vision. The this zealots are coming not up. nice. Oh man, Ganji's going to have such a difficult time holding this off. I'm actually not sure that he's going to be able to at this point with those additional warpings are also going to be falling in. Doesn't it even have repair. SCVs to repair. Yeah. yeah, he already lost too many SCVs trying to buffer damage to that, so he, he was, it was great to get the bunker up, but this is unpleasant, and this 4-gate is essentially <laughs> going to force Ganji back onto one base for the moment, because there's, there's no way he's going to be able to throw that many units out there. CC first, neither state, not even a chance of combat shield, doesn't even have any oh. marauders. Oh wow, and now, so I think that he actually blocked himself a little bit there with the positioning of the command center, wasn't able to click yeah. repair onto the bunker, bunker still ended up going down, and yep. now Gonzi has pretty much been beaten back into his base. He can just attack now, it, it, because there's no tech lab, but there's no marauders, all we need to see here from Alicia is Stalker, 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 few zealots just to have some slice in action on these SCVs, and that should be all she wrote, really. You can see Ganji's plummeting to 15 supply. There is no way to actually hold this kind of aggression unless Alicia decides for some reason now would be a perfect time to expand. Right, or like... <laughs> Like, just heavy tech for whatever reason on one base? Really <laughs> Ganji yeah. is not thinking that that's a good game. A single G oh. is all you will get out of Ganji there. Now, was it good or was it game? Uh, I, I'm going to go with game. <laughs> I'm just going to go with game. He just got four-gated straight up. He got greedy, and his former teammate punished him hard for it. And mm. really, that's not what you expect from a player of Ganji's caliber. Well, you talked about it, right? Right in the beginning. Hey, Gonzi thought that he could do whatever he wanted to do, and yeah, that didn't work out, man. You do, you can't go 14 CC on Taldorim against Alicia. No, he no, because well he'll just forget you. you. <laughs> <laughs> if he knows where you are, he's gonna forget you. It's Taldorim Alter. You can forget very, very easily, and I suppose that's a little bit of meta gaming going on. Yeah. Forget not seen so much anymore because. Blizzard continually oh. beats it with the nerf bat over and over again. Yeah, it's so funny. Is their jackets match? Well, they do, actually, yeah, <laughs> because, you know, th that's actually an yeah, older, that's old older picture jacket, there yeah. of Ganji, Ganji instead of his complexity shirt. But to be fair, as much as uh, I'm just going to apologize to Jason Lake right now, I'm sorry, but you don't quite have the coolness of the Slayer's jacket with your team. You've got to get that sorted <laughs> out. Nothing looks better than the Slayer's the jacket. The Slayer's jackets are real nice. Also, oh, I yeah. mean, Slayer's has been in the game for a long time. They know always, what they're doing when it comes to the marketing of their players, yeah. don't they? Yeah, they've they've totally got that one nailed down, and Alicia nails down Ganji as well. And let's hope that Ganji doesn't tilt a little bit after losing to an incredibly basic strategy, trying that greedy play on Taldorim, and that's the flip side. It's a double-edged sword of that map. If you can get greedy on Taldorim and make it work, then you're in such a fantastic position. If you can't, and the opponent just says, well, four gateways, that'll work, right? Yeah. And you actually let him do that. Ganji realized what was going on. He tried to stop the Stalkers from getting onto the high ground so that the vision would be denied on that pylon, but he wasn't able to do it. And after that happened, there was there was just no way. It may be if he had one tech lab, possibly, yeah, and could actually maybe. get some Marauders out. Maybe. I mean, it, w although one or two Marauders absolutely would have changed everything oh, in the first question. engagement when he had, yeah. like, the SCVs surrounding the Yeah, stalkers. because it was incredibly heavy Stalker initial wave going in there, but it was only naked Marines and mm -hmm. SCVs. A Marauder or two would have definitely ch uh, twisted that around, but the problem is that Ganji's build was so economically focused that there was just no way. He skipped anyway everything. Though. Well, he wasn't even mining gas. Mm -hmm. no, he didn't have anything to mine gas with, so... It's Marines or nothing. A Marine might be a good unit, but not against Fallgate. Yeah, so there, so Alicia puts himself in a wonderful position moving into Game 2. Game oh, number yeah. 2 is going to be on Entombed Valley. Now, Alicia essentially just did something that you really wouldn't expect to see straight out of Game 1, but he saw the opportunity, took advantage of it straight away. As he should. Yeah, and now he's, he's heading in with a pretty huge lead, and Gonzi is only one map away from being out of the tournament. Yeah, and he can't be happy about that. No. Absolutely Especially not. when it's like against somebody that you used yeah, to play with. Yeah, former rivalry yeah. obviously going on. These guys are ready to get started. So the question is, what do we see from Alicia?